This is a patient with endomyocardial fibrosis, and I will now show you the typical features that we can find in such patients. In the parasternal long axis view, we can appreciate that there is fibrosis of the subvalvular apparatus, which extends here into the papillary muscle and also into the posterior mitral valve leaflet. You can see that the posterior leaflet is restricted in its motion. And we can expect at least some degree of mitral regurgitation in this patient. But the real interesting or real typical findings for endomyocardial fibrosis are usually seen in the apical views. Let's take a look at the apex. You see the image quality is not very good, which is easily explained because we have fibrosis and also an infiltrate here in the apex so that we don't get very good image quality down here, but we can nicely see that there actually is an infiltrate here in the apex, very equilucent structures which fill the apex and which are very unlikely to be a thrombus simply because we have a normal contraction pattern here in the apex.